The Bible. The Holy Bible. 66 books with two distinct sections, 39 Old Testament books and 27 New Testament books. The story of the New Testament canon is a fascinating one. There are books that were accepted very quickly, almost from the start. For instance, the four Gospels. And there are other books that struggled to get in. For instance, 2 Peter. And then there is the book of Revelation, the final book of the Bible, the Apocalypse of John. Few today would contest the claim that the book of Revelation stands as one of the most controversial, complicated, and misunderstood books in the New Testament. Perhaps it should come as no surprise, then, that its reception by the early church was equally complicated and controversial. No other book was more contested to be in the canon of Scripture other than the book of Revelation. But there is a blessing that is unique only to the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Are you ready? Are you ready for the throne room of heaven to witness the living creatures, each having six wings that do not rest day or night, saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come? Are you ready for the Lamb to take the scroll and to begin to open the seals, marking the commencement of the judgment of God? Are you ready for the four horsemen of Apocalypse to make their cosmic descent upon the earth? A rider on a black horse, a rider on a white horse, a rider on a pale horse, and a rider on a red horse? Are you ready for the sixth seal to be opened and for the cosmic disturbance, for the sun to become black and the moon to turn into blood, and for the stars of heaven to fall to the earth? Are you ready for the 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel to be sealed? Are you ready for the prelude to the seven trumpets where there will be 30 minutes of silence in heaven? 30 minutes of anticipation as the wrath of God is about to be unleashed without limit. During those 30 minutes every angel, every saint that has ever lived will be in awe for what is about to happen. Are you ready for the seven angels with seven trumpets to sound? Are you ready for the first trumpet to sound where the vegetation will be struck? Are you ready for the second, third and fourth trumpet to sound and to see an angel flying through the midst of heaven saying with a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth because of the remaining blasts of the trumpet of the three angels who are about to sound. Are you ready for the angel that will open up the bottomless pit and that will allow Abaddon, Apollyon the Destroyer, to descend into the earth with his locusts? Are you ready for the angels from the Euphrates to be released? Are you ready for the arrival of the two witnesses for them to preach and then to be martyred and then for them to be resurrected and then ascend to heaven in a cloud? Are you ready for the rise of the Antichrist and the mark of the beast? Are you ready for the three angels to be sent down to the earth to come and preach the gospel? Are you ready for the seven bowls of judgment? Are you ready for the heavens to open to see a rider on the right horse? And the rider on that horse is none other than Jesus. Eyes were like a flame of fire and on his head were many crowns. Are you ready for a new heaven and a new earth? Are you ready to see the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband? Today, we are going to focus on the second section of the book of Revelation, the Great Tribulation and the Second Coming. The Bible and Jesus told us that there will be a great tribulation on earth such that has never been recorded before. The Antichrist will come into power. And what will mark the beginning of the great tribulation is not the rapture, but it will be when the Antichrist signs a covenant with Israel for seven years. However, the Antichrist will break the covenant halfway through the seven years. Daniel chapter 9 verse 27 gives us further insight. It reads, and he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. And in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease, 
and for the overspreading of abominations he shall make it desolate, even until the consummation, and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. The Antichrist will commit the abomination of desolation, and set up an image of himself to be worshipped. Those who are alive and remain during the tribulation should be watchful, and recognize that this event is the beginning of three and a half years of the worst of the tribulation period, and that the return of the Lord Jesus is imminent. The Antichrist is going to enforce the worship of the beast by making life unbearable for those who try to refuse to accept the mark of the beast, and those who refuse to worship it. Revelation chapter 13 verses 16 through 17 says, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save that he had the mark or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. During the Great Tribulation, the activities of the four horsemen of the Apocalypse will be done on earth. Also, the seven seals of God will be opened, the seven trumpets of God will be blown, and the seven bowls of God's wrath will be poured out on the inhabitants of the earth. As each of the seven seals of God was opened, John saw events that took place on earth. As soon as the first seal was opened, John saw the first horseman riding a white horse, and he had a bow in his hand and a crown on his head. He was given the power to go forth and conquer the entire earth. The opening of the second seal revealed a rider on a red horse, who was given a great sword and the power to take peace away from the earth. At the opening of the third seal, John saw a black horse, whose rider had a pair of balances in his hand, and the rider of the horse was commanded not to hurt the oil and the wine. John saw a pale horse when the fourth seal was opened, and the rider of the horse was death, and hell followed after him. Death was given the power to kill with sword, with hunger, with death, and with wild beasts one-fourth of the dwellers of the earth. After the fifth seal was opened, John was granted to see the souls of saints which had been slain for the word of God, and the testimony of God which they upheld. And they were given white robes that they should rest until their brethren which are left in the world are martyred like they were. The opening of the sixth seal caused a great earthquake on earth. The sun became as black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. The stars of heaven fell from their heights, and great was the shaking of the heavens and the earth that even heaven was folded up. At this point, the people on earth began to look for safety. Revelation chapter 6 verses 16 through 17 says, And said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb, for the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? All these things are a chip of an iceberg compared to what will happen on earth when the seven trumpets are blown and the seven bowls of the wrath of God are poured out against the earth. Prior to this happening, the church would have been raptured. The Return of the Lord Revelation 19, verse 11 to 21. And I saw heaven opened, and behold a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. At the end of the Great Tribulation, Christ will return in his glory to destroy the Antichrist and his armies and cast them into the lake of fire. The second coming of Christ will be very much different from his first advent. In his first time, Christ came as a sacrificial lamb for sin, but at his second coming, he will appear as a lion to judge the wickedness of nations and to conquer the entire world and restore peace to the people of God. Christ will return with a host of heaven on white horses. Jude 1 verse 14 to 15 and Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all, 
and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed, and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. 1 Thessalonians 3 verse 13, so that he may establish your hearts blameless in holiness before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ with all his saints. The prophecy of Enoch the seventh from Adam and the prophecy of the Apostle Paul and the prophecy of John the Revelator all align to tell us of the second coming of the Lord Jesus and his saints. Who is this one that is described to be coming with all his saints? He is revealed in the book of Revelation. Revelation 1 verse 1, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants. The whole Bible reveals Jesus Christ to us, but no book quite reveals him to us like the book of Revelation. In the book of Revelation, the Lord Jesus Christ wants his church to know who he is, because the only way to the Father is through him. If you come through any other way, you come in as a thief and a robber. The Lord Jesus Christ is revealed in the book of Revelation. He is revealed in Revelation 1 verse 18. I am the living one. I was dead and now look. I am alive forever and ever, and I hold the keys of death and Hades. He is the risen king, the living one. He is no longer coming as a baby. He is no longer on the cross. He is no longer in the grave. But he is the living one who has the keys of death and Hades, the Almighty. He is revealed in Revelation 19 verse 11, And I saw heaven opened, and behold a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True and in righteousness he doth judge. He is revealed in Revelation 22 verse 13, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. This means it all started with him and it will all consummate with him. Our human minds cannot comprehend that, that he has always been here. In eternity past he was here forever here. Before anything was created, he was here. Before the earth, before the universe, before the angels were created, the Lord Jesus Christ was here. And it is this Lord Jesus that Enoch speaks of returning with his saints. Revelation 19 verse 15 says, And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. Finally, the wrath of God would be satisfied when his judgment and justice have found expression on earth. Rapture is real. Heaven is real. Hell is real. The Great Tribulation is real and the Second Coming of Christ is real. If the trumpet should sound now, are you sure you will not be left behind?